It's the Game Face Highlight Show for Week 7, presented by the Citizen's Voice. We're starting out at Crestwood, where the 4-2 Comets welcomed 4-2 Tunkanic to town in one of the top games of the week, but this one was all Crestwood. First quarter, Ryan Petroski finds Brandon Naminski across the middle for a Comet touchdown and an early lead. The Crestwood running game was tough to stop all night. Ryan Harding, he picks up nice yardage on this play, and Ryan Miller had himself a huge night, rushed 40 times for 253 yards and a couple scores. Second quarter, Petroski, he had another big night. He finds Harding in the corner for a touchdown, and later he hooks up with UConn commit Naminski again. Crestwood rolls 42 to 16. Hanover area traveled to Northwest, and the Hawkeyes come out strong. Justin Stefanowitz, he gives them a 7-6 lead with an early touchdown. Then it's Joe Curcio going up top to Bobby Sebecki for a score, puts Hawk, the Hawkeyes up 14-6. Northwest fought back. George May plunges into the end zone, helps tie the game at 14. But once again, Hanover area surges ahead. Curcio takes the toss and goes into the end zone. Hawkeyes win 24-14. Wilkes-Barre area and Valley West kicked off their new Battle for the Bridge rivalry Friday night. The Wolfpack took to the air. Cam Taylor, he comes up with big touchdown passes to Malachi Williams and Nito Sinti to give Wilkes-Barre area early control of the game. Valley West tries to get on the board, but the Wolfpack defense stuffs them at the goal line. They go on to preserve the shutout. Wilkes-Barre area gets the trophy after a 28-0 win. Dallas hosted Nanticoke area. Quarterback Michael Starbuck had a big day. Starbuck threw for 150 yards and three scores, going to Parker Balestra, Ben Fife, and Luke Delgadio. The Mountaineers, still unbeaten, setting up a huge showdown next week when they travel to Valley View. They roll past the Trojans Friday night, 62-7. Elsewhere Friday night, Wyoming Garrett playing at Dunmore. We're tied at 14 in the fourth quarter. Dominic DeLuca took a kickoff back for a touchdown, and Wyoming Garrett pulled away from there. Darren Rodney had three scores, and the Warriors topped the Bucks 35-14 to stay unbeaten. Berwick hosted Hazleton area Friday night. Coming off their first loss of the season, they bounced back in a big way. Tegan Wilk, a 57-yard touchdown run on the first play from scrimmage. Bulldogs go big over the Cougars, 40-7. Lake Lehman junior quarterback Ethan Adams had a big night, completed 15 passes for 326 yards and 6 touchdowns in just one half of football. Lake Lehman rolls over Holy Redeemer 41-6. And finally, Pittston area gets 244 yards through the air from Mike Nacito. Dylan Lukachko rushed for 113 yards, and the Patriots win at Williamsport 20-7. This has been the Game Face Highlight Show presented by the Citizen's Voice.